The moment when the barrel of gunfire went silent and smoke billowed from the palace marked the end of a protracted negotiation between the Omusinga of Renzururu, Charles Wesley Mumbere, and the army. Gunshots had earlier on rang out at the palace when royal guards confronted the army in a siege that lasted about two hours. Now we are at the Musinga's palace and as you can hear there are many loud gunshots that are going on back here. And we are taking cover right here, which is just 200 meters away from the gunfire. We've been told that the security officers are trying to breach the perimeter that was on the king and they're trying to get inside and arrest as many royal guards as they can. NTV has learned that Mumbere had been given an ultimatum of up to 9 a.m. to surrender his royal guards, a request he turned down. We gave him an hour, uh, it elapsed. Because we were supposed to storm that camp, that, that palace, by, by 11. So we, ha we again, the president again called, gave him two more hours. That please, sort this out. Now that one, he again, we sent everybody here, his people he wanted, to talk to him, that let this people surrender. But we realized that, I think he was um, under siege by his, his own people. These people he called these guards and so forth. So we had no option after that. We had to storm the palace and get these terrorists. And that is what we did. At least four politicians visited the seat of the kingdom and later returned saying there was a problem of communication between government and the Obusinga. NTV has ascertained that 46 people were killed in the attack and 139 arrested. Two soldiers were also injured in this attack. Raymond Mujibu, 